Hello everyone, welcome to Veranda IES. Students, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the Indus Valley Civilization, how the Indus Valley Civilization got its origin, what were the various activities that were performed by the people of Indus Valley Civilization, what was the city structure, what was the town planning, and various other things. Also, along with these things, we'll be discussing about the various religions that were actually followed by people, the deities that were actually quite prominent at that point of time among the people of the Indus Valley Civilization. At last, we'll be discussing how this entire civilization got doomed away, what were the reasons, okay? So, with reference to this particular topic, our objective here will be to see and understand how the Indus Valley Civilization got started and how it actually flourished. So, with reference to Indus Valley Civilization, what we can see here is most important thing, that is, with reference to all the places, Now, this civilization started on the banks of Indus River. See, in the previous sessions, I have already discussed, I have already told you what exactly is the importance of a river with reference to the origin of a civilization. Because at that point of time, the most important thing, most important thing, where exactly does a person go? A person settles himself or herself at that particular place where there is an opportunity for food. The most important thing is food. Cannot stay in jungle, reason being there is a threat of wild animals. Cannot go for cultivation in that particular area. So in order to cultivate, because by this particular time, the people of the Indus Valley Civilization, they have realized, they have learned that yes, agriculture is an activity that we can do. We can grow food for ourselves at our own will, at our, according to our own choices, right? So if you look here at the map, we can see that the entire development of the Indus Valley Civilization, it actually got started in this particular region. The prominent places were Harappa, Kalabangan, <clears throat> Mohenjo-daro, Kotdiji, Chanudaro, Dholavira, Lothal, Somnath, etc. So there were many such places. And see, if you look at the pattern here, you can find Indus River, various tributaries like Chenab, Jhelum, Ravi, Bias, Satlaj, etc., the Gagha River. All these important civilizations, all these important towns, they were, or you can say cities at that point of time, they were on the banks of Indus River, right? So this is something with reference to the places which were prominent during the Indus Valley Civilization. If we speak about the town planning, the town planning was so brilliant. The sewage system, the drainage system was so brilliant that they had the drains or the drainage beneath the road. Also, there was a big outlet outside the city where the entire used water was thrown away or you can say the contaminated water was thrown away. So you can realize that even at that point of time, people knew the basic sense, the sanitation was up to the mark. The sanitation was definitely a priority among the people who lived in the Indus Valley civilization. If we speak about the structure or the culture that was being followed, so like in my previous sessions, I have told you, the town planning was done in two manners. For example, let's say this was the particular territory where one particular city was formed. The higher area, that means the upper ground, the higher ground, it was meant for the nobles or you can say meant for the rich. Whereas the rest of the region, this particular region, it was meant for the commoners, right? So 
the places with the establishments for the rich. These higher places were called as the citadels. See, the best example of a citadel you can understand if you have seen the famous popular series, web series, Game of Thrones. So there, the representation can be seen very easily, okay? Just imagine King's Landing, the place where all the nobles lived, it was situated at a height, whereas all the common people, they lived in the lower grounds. Same used to be the structure in the Indus Valley civilization as well, okay? Now, there have been several instances where we have seen that there was a particular go down, okay? Particular go down type of thing so that people can actually store their grains and all. There were ports that were developed. There was a common, at that point of time, there was a great bath, which was a common sort of bathroom for people, right? So such instances have been seen with reference to all these cities here. The prominent, the important cities in the Indus Valley civilization, like I said, were Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Kalibangan, Chanhudaro, Dholavira, Banwali, and others. And with reference to the port towns, that means where the evidences of ports have been found. Like I said, prominently Lothal, Alhadino, Balakot, etc. Right? Now, if we speak with reference to the economy, so economy, how economy actually worked, one of the most important practice that was followed by the people of Indus Valley civilization was that they performed agriculture. There have been traces, there have been evidences that yes, agriculture was a common practice which was followed by the people of Indus Valley civilization, okay? And agrarian techniques, that means they were actually using the plow, okay? They were actually using the plow use of animals in agriculture, it also has been quite a feature of the Indus Valley civilization at that point of time. The people here were involved in various crafts as well. For example, you must have seen the dancing girl and the ornaments that she is wearing. So one thing which is quite more common is that People at that point of time were fond of wearing ornaments and the practice of wearing ornaments was prevalent even during that point of time. There are several instances where we can see that bricks have been found, some pottery has been found, okay, various seals, various seals with reference to especially gods and what I'm saying with reference to seals, prominent seals. with reference to Pashupati Nath, Ya Pashupati Ji, Shiv, Lord Shiva, okay? Such things have been seen here. Also, if we talk about trade, so there was trade in both the ways. That means people were trading amongst themselves in the city itself. Also, various people were coming from outside. One, again, a very good example can be seen with reference to uh, a recent movie that came. Not recent, but yes, it came in the year 2016. You can have the reference of how the trade practices were performed in that movie known as Mohenjo-daro, right? So, the internal and external trade. Also, there are evidences of ports and with the reference to the ports, it can be claimed that the business was carried in a naval route as well. That means with outsiders, people from the outside world as well, like not outside world, outside country other than India, people from some other civilizations. Quite evident that the Indus Valley civilization had trade practices or had a trade agreement with the Mesopotamian civilization as well as with the Chinese as well as with the Egyptian civilizations at that point of time. Now, what were the prominent religions? If we speak about religions, so like I said, they used to, the Indus Valley civilization, people used to worship nature animal worshipping. Also, Pashupati Shiva, like I have already told, seals were found. So yes, it can be understood that Shiva 
Lord Shiva was a very prominent deity in the Indus Valley civilization. Okay. Now, what were the reasons for decline? Why it actually declined? See, the reasons are unknown to us, but according to the assumptions that we have made and according to the surveys or according to the ideas that we have seen, it can be said that every time these civilizations got ended up because of the catastrophic flooding which was brought by Indus River and the various other rivers. Okay, No other source, like there are many people who say that there might have been a situation of a war among themselves. We cannot deny this possibility, but we don't have any evident proofs for that. No other reasons can be sustained at that point of time. Moreover, there might have been some important event with reference to an earthquake or anything else, but as of now, we don't have any substantial proofs regarding that. Okay, so if we speak about the decline, so ultimately it was the catastrophic flooding that was brought by Indus River and the various associate rivers, right? So students, this was with reference to today's session. This was with reference to the Indus Valley civilization and how actually they performed, how actually they lived, okay? The details of the Indus Valley civilization will be given to you in the main classes. Thank you very much.